Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Leo August 25, 2022. Although problem areas won't immediately disappear as Mercury turns direct, you'll see some real progress as Mercury slowly gets back to its normal speed in the days ahead. Information may emerge that helps you make better decisions or choices. Delays lift in areas related to friendships, transportation, and communications. With a Sun-Pluto transit also in play, watch for compulsive behavior if stress is left unchecked. The tendency can be to make life more complicated than it needs to be when a more straightforward, easier path is available. The day's planetary configuration can bring you to an interesting and thought-provoking turning point in your life. You need to use the cosmic energy to give yourself a second chance. If you felt the need to come to a place where you can make changes, this is your chance. It is no good beating around the bush, you would be better off getting to the heart of the matter. Gone are the days of tech problems and miscommunication now that Mercury is finally direct in Virgo. Over the last few weeks, you may have felt stressed by Mercury retrograde in both Gemini and Virgo. But now that Mercury is direct and in its post-shadow phase, you can focus on getting back online, correcting any miscommunication, and feeling more confident in your professional aspirations. Use this first part of the post-shadow phase to navigate any lingering retrograde issues so that you can begin to stabilize the professionalism of your social media and communal presence. You are empathetic today, which is frankly a nice change for you. Often you allow yourself to become too focused on yourself and the issues in your own life. Today you are able to step back a bit and view the bigger picture. You see how you are part of a much greater family, and begin to make altruistic plans for helping others less fortunate than you. Use this time to renew contacts with your family. They will be pleased and you might even be able to resolve old conflicts, as a mediator or by taking the first step to clear matters up. The constellation is favorable for burying the hatchet once and for all. Ask probing questions and get others talking. You can read people really well under ordinary circumstances, but right now you're especially in touch with people's deepest inner cores. In touch with your emotions, you are fortunate to be so clear about your feelings which helps you decide exactly what to do. Whether you are looking for casual dates or interested in starting a more serious relationship, you make the right choice. Start planning how best to best pursue your own happiness. As your professional dreams continue to unfold, you may find yourself worrying about the downside. First, there are new responsibilities that you might have your doubts about your ability to fulfill. Secondly, you might find yourself catapulted into the uncomfortable realm of office politics. Don't let these matters put a damper on your enthusiasm. You have what it takes to fulfill the first concern, and the wisdom to avoid the second. Onward and upward. It's a good day to get active. If you've been thinking of starting a health program of any sort, this is the time to begin. Yours is a contemplative nature yet even you need to breathe fresh air and get some exercise every now and then. See about taking a walk outside, or if it suits you better, try visiting a gym if possible. Yoga and Tai Chi offer ways of being physical and spiritual at the same time. Check these things out and get a new program going for yourself. You'll be glad you did. Our Eyes in the Sky With the Sun and Pluto sharing a tense minor aspect, it's the perfect day to make a to-do list and check things off it. Allow yourself to be a bit emotionally removed this morning, and use the energy to cut out situations that are holding you back or creating unnecessary stress. A minor connection between Venus and Neptune could promote anxiety and stress, but asking the opinion of a trusted confidant can help you see things from a new and more helpful perspective. You might also have some constructive criticism to offer others, but make sure they're open to hearing what you have to say before throwing in your two cents. When evening descends, this cosmic vibe could bring an unpredictable creative atmosphere. This aspect is generally positive, which can help us find innovative solutions to problems. However, Neptune, ever the troublemaker, could also stir up some unexpected drama. Be careful when dealing with others tonight, 
because there could be a desire to offer advice that isn't necessarily welcome. Concentrate on solving your own problems and let other people work out their own issues unless they ask for your help. While Mars was in the sign of the bull, pursuing our goals was a matter of persistence. We were content to dig in our heels, refusing to let go of causes that were worth the wait. Yet now that Mars dips its boot into the sign of the twins, we are decidedly less focused and more non-committal. There are pros and cons to any planet-sign combination. Mars in Gemini is adept at strategy, able to visualize clever solutions and plans of attack. Passion and wit fuse seductively in this terrain. We aren't as shy to chase our conquests, because we aren't considering long-term repercussions so much as immediate gratification. By the same token, immediate embarrassments due to miscalculations also more easily roll off our backs. However, Mars and Gemini can also weaponize information and speech. While we might intend to avoid a war of brute force and physical aggression, a thoughtless word can still land a devastating blow. From now until March 25th, we should be cautious of how we leverage language against others. We might regret hitting our chosen target after the fact. In the morning, the Moon and Mars conjunct in the final degree of Taurus, culminating in a story of aligning our emotions and actions as Mars transited the sign of the bull. Consider the movements you've made over the past six weeks and reflect on how this time has changed you. It may have been a period of standing your ground, acting on principle, or defending your ethics. It also might have been one that highlighted sensual appetites. Irritability is a hallmark of this influence if we lack a proper outlet for self-expression. In what ways have you wrestled with your desires and learned how to tame them? The moon enters a short, hour-long void following this aspect's perfection, suggesting we use this time for contemplation rather than starting new projects. Shortly after this, the moon enters Cancer, ending its void of course. Over the next two days, we are more social and outgoing, hungry for experience. Our instincts and intellect harmonize, propelling us forward by means of curiosity. We'll have an easier time discussing difficult topics without bringing heavy emotions into the mix. This is a great occasion for studying and learning new things, as well as for participating in activities with friends or partners.